Hey everybody, so here I am with another topic, lacuna infarct or lacuna stroke. What are lacuna infarct? So let's divide this definition into three parts. They are small infarcts, less than 15 mm in diameter and they are situated in the non-cortical white matter or in the brainstem. And how do they occur? They result from occlusion of penetrating branches of cerebral arteries. And what are the most common causes of it? Microetheroma, small emboli and lipohyalinosis. Lacuna syndromes are six in number. Pure motor whose symptom is chondralesional hemiparesis. Localization is the posterior limb of internal capsule, corona radiator and basis pontus. Basis pontus is actually the basal portion of pons and it consists of white matter fibers of corticospinal tract. Now what is the vascular supply regarding with pure motor syndrome, lenticlostride branches of the middle cerebral artery or perforating branches of basilar artery. Now you have pure sensory syndrome where you have contralational uh, hemisensory loss, hemisensory loss pure sensory, hemiparesis pure motor. Okay, now here the localization is VPL nucleus of thalamus and vascular supply is lenticlostride branches of MCA and thalamo uh, perforators of PCA that is posterior cerebral artery. Sensory motor syndrome, uh, we have contralational uh, weakness as well as numbness. That means it's basically a mixture of pure motor and pure sensory. Localization is thalamus and adjacent posterior limb of internal capsule so look at the localization it's actually a mixture of pure sensory and pure motor and muscular supply are the same lenticlostride branches of mca this one is an important short note dysarthria clumsy hand syndrome it's a lacuna syndrome where there is slurred speech and weakness of the contralateral hand the localization is basis pontus and muscular supply is basilar artery perforator now ataxic hemiparesis here you have contralesional hemiparesis and ataxia. That's why it's called ataxic hemiparesis. Localization is internal capsule, posterior limb and basis pontus. And here also the vascular supply is lenticlostride branches of MCA and perforating branches of basilar artery. Hemibalismus or hemichoria, the symptoms are contralesional limb failing and dyskinesis. And the localization is subthalamic nucleus and vascular supplies perforating arteries of anterior choroid. Now investigations to be done is mainly an MRI scan because it's much better and sensitive in picking up early infarcts and you can also do a CT angiography or MR angiography and that is to know the exact site of the block. Now treatment is you go for the thrombolytic treatment that is you lyse the thrombi within three hours if the patient reports within three hours of the lacuna stroke you give them intravenous recombinant tissue plasminogen activator and you also go for anti-thrombotic treatment that is give them aspirin 75 mg to 300 mg daily and it prevents the extension of the infarct and the recurrence of it and you also have to treat the underlying risk factors like diabetes and hyperlipidemia so that's it i hope it was really helpful thank you like share and subscribe and hit the bell button for more videos